Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Music Edition for the week of May 21st, 2018. This week in music, we've got more uh, more updates on Sinsanium. Sinsanium? I'm not pronouncing that right. The Joey Jordanson uh, band that he's doing with the dude from Dragon Force. That's happening. We have the first new song from Clutch. We actually have quite a few new songs to talk about and other news, so let's jump into the intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Teller. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Auberginois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we get into the news, guys, we have to get into the sponsor. All of this week's episodes are going to be sponsored by Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the Patreon page where you can go support the channel. Uh, it's broken down. There's four different tiers. $1 tier, $2 tier, $5, and $10. And even just the $1 tier, which is just the early access to all the videos and the complete uh, instructions on the Renaissance Nerd videos, even just that tier, which... I feel like that's worth a buck a month, right? It, you, because that's full instructions for Renaissance Nerd. That's not just the ingredients list like you get on the free version of those videos. Uh, so check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. Link is right here on the screen. And now let's jump into some news. First on our list of news for music this week is Sinsanum, the band that it is one part Slipknot and one part Dragon Force. It... <laughs> Kind of. I, it's not exactly that. There's other members involved, but the genesis of the project comes from uh, Frederic Leclerc, who plays guitar for Dragon Force, and, or bass rather, for Dragon Force, and then also Joy Jordanson, who plays drums and plays drums in the band. Uh, we've talked about them once before when they first announced that they were going to be doing this project together. They just released, they have a, a new record coming out called The Repulsion of Humanity, or For Humanity. And we have a, a music video for the first single off the album called Final Resolve. Link to the video is in the description if you are so inclined to check that bad boy out. Click that. Um, it's a death metal band. Like, there's not a whole lot you can say aside from the fact that they fill that slot pretty well. Uh, except... This song, I don't think, I never thought, let's put it this way, I never thought I would ever say, this is a catchy tune when listening to a death metal song. 90% of the time when I'm listening to death metal, I'm bored because it's, it's full of non-dynamic stuff. Uh, it's not very dynamic. It doesn't keep my interest very well. Uh, it's just always blast beats. Not this, not Sinsanum, not this, this song at least. This is, it's, it's impressive with the, with the ability to be catchy and also insanely, well, and, and I feel like they kind of, uh, they kind of substitute some of the heaviness for that catchiness, but it works. It's, it, it'll get stuck in your head. Like this is, uh, this is a death metal song that could be played in uh, potentially on the radio on one of those really late night programs like they used to have out here in Colorado uh, but they don't really do that anymore full metal Jackie and so on and so forth I this this is something that the masses could potentially digest pretty easily so that's really cool uh, my hat goes off hats off right there hats off to Joey Jordanson and Frederic Leclerc and everybody else in the band uh, I didn't we've gone over all the members before so you can check previous videos for that but we are moving on next on the list we have new music finally off of the new clutch record the new album is called once again book of bad decisions the name of this new song is called gimme the keys link to this is also in the description uh, this is this so we talked when we talked about this the for uh, the last time we talked about how they were experimenting with different things uh, inside the clutch sound to kind of expand it without alienating their audience 
Uh, primarily, what they said was they were just mostly playing with different tempos, uh, some different time signatures, but nothing too crazy. I feel like this is, listening to this song, the production value is very, very different than previous Clutch efforts. Uh, it's not necessarily better, but it's also not any worse, so it's just kind of a different, it's it's somebody else, it's filtered through the eyes of a different producer is what it really sounds like. We have an overdriven bass tone, we have uh, uh, a more subdued guitar, there's more layering here. It's less stripped down like Clutch generally do, has done in the past. Uh, there are definitely exceptions to that, not everything Clutch does is stripped down, but by and large that's their sound. Is Guitar, bass, drums, and vocals, straight up. This one, there's a there's more atmospherics going on, and it it really, really, really works. It really works. Uh, the actual content of the song is also really interesting because it's about their first tour back in 1991. Yes, that is how old Clutch is, um, and it's yeah, it's just it's great. Click that link in the description. Go check it out. This is. If you like blues, if you like some good old uh, rock and roll, Clutch is a band that you should absolutely be listening to. And if this first track is indicative of the rest of the album, then we are in for a fantastic ride with this new record. Uh, but that's all we got for Clutch. Kicking next, we are talking about Nine Inch Nails and their new song off of their next EP. Uh, Nine Inch Nails just released the song God Break Down the Door off of the Bad Witch EP that we talked about last week. Um, I, it, so I really like Nine Inch Nails. I actually really like this song. This is not their strongest effort they've ever put out, but it's, it's solid. Um, it just feels like, it feels like the stuff that they've been putting out in the last three to five years is showing how Reznor is losing his edge a little bit. I mean, they did that, uh, the Bauhaus collab, the live record a couple years back with uh, TV on the radio as the instru instrumentation, and that was great, but again, that's kind of, it's showing <laughs> showing Trent Reznor's old age a little bit. It, again, not that, not that that's a bad thing. You can't be aggressive your entire career doesn't make sense. Even Slipknot, one of the most heavy, aggressive bands, uh, has those moments, has had records even, where it, it seems a little more subdued. So I, I'm not faulting Nine Inch Nails, I'm not faulting Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross for this. I just feel like they've had stronger efforts in the past. Not that this is a bad one, so go check it out. Link to that video is also in the description, just like the rest of them. And then we have new music from the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Their last record came out in 2011, didn't do very well. Uh, Dickie Barrett, the lead singer from Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, is, doing, is leading the band for Jimmy Kimmel these days. And that seems to be a pretty solid gig for him. I didn't think we were ever going to get new Boss Tones music, but we are. The name of the new album is called While We're At It. Uh, they they announced it at, I forget the name of the festival, but it was basically like a throwback to the 90s. It was a bunch of ska bands on the bill. with It was out in LA. It's like a two-day thing. Uh, they announced it on, they announced it around about the same time, not on stage, but around about that same time. The name of the song is Wonderful Day for the Race. Uh, this also feels like a toned down version of the boss tones. It's not like the pacing isn't much different than than what you would expect out of the boss tones. There's just not as much brass presence as I was expecting. Boss tones were a big ska band, and they they really played into those brass tones, and like you should in a ska band. This song though, I feel like is a little bit of a letdown because. We get not as much brass tone. This is mostly just the the traditional pieces of the band, the guitar, bass, drums, and vocals. Uh, there are definitely brass tones in it, so I'm not saying they've gotten rid of that, that part of their sound entirely. I just feel like they're folding it too much into the mix. They need to bring that up. They need to play up those parts because it feels like there were spots in this song that could have benefited from more brass. 
uh, help pick up that energy. Just just because it's an upbeat tune doesn't mean it's full of energy, and it needs to be full of energy if it's ska. That's kind of an expectation of the genre. So, uh, yeah, uh, not a horrible tune, but definitely not one that I, that makes me want to go pick up the new Boss Tones record. And then we have a remix from an old Papa Roach song, uh, Last Resort, their big hit in 2000, uh, 2000, just got remixed by a new producer by the name of Keizo. Um, it's a dubstep version of the tune. It, it There are parts of it that really, really work, but there's large chunks where he's just substituting the drum track for his dubstep drums, and he's obviously slowed it down, so... It, again, isn't bad, but mediocre is just as, right? I mean, mediocre is is probably worse than being bad, because when it's bad, you can point out, should have did this differently, should have done this differently. Mediocre is just like, yeah, it kind of works. Um, you can check the link. It goes right to the SoundCloud, or you can go buy it. Uh, Keizo just signed a deal with Geffen Records, which was probably a really bad idea, Keizo, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, yeah, they've, they've, you can get a physical copy of it, or you can go listen to the SoundCloud for free. Um, I mean, I kind of dug that song. I kind of still dig the song, the original song. And I really like dubstep, because apparently I'm just out of date, but... Uh, the two together I thought was going to be a really cool combination, but it wasn't very well executed, so it's whatever. And then, our last bit of news brings together the worlds of music and comic books in a beautiful harmony. We got the Red Death from the Dark Knight's Metal soundtrack. Yes, Dark Knight's Metal, the comic book series. Uh, you know, happening with Batman and, and the Dark Multiverse and uh, all of the craziness that we've been talking about over on the comic books video. Uh, they did a soundtrack. They're doing a soundtrack. The full soundtrack has not yet been released, but they did release the first song off of it. It's called Red Death. Link to the, uh, the YouTube video of the audio is in the description. You can go listen to it. There's no video, really. It's just a picture of the album cover, I believe. So, the awesome bit about this is that it's actually happening. Uh, I don't remember if we talked about this back in October. It was when it was announced. But it didn't seem like it was actually going to come to fruition. It seemed like it was just a big, lofty goal. And not a whole lot was going was gonna to come of it. But... Something at, at least one song has come of it, and it's really good. It's 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 not great, but it's not mediocre either. It's sitting above the mediocre, just not out into the awesome uh, realm of things. It's featuring Bron Daler on vocals. The drummer from Mastodon sings, just sings on this track. Uh, the guitar player is, uh, where'd it go? The guitar player is Tyler Bates, who used to work with Marilyn Manson. Uh, Mike El El Elizondo plays the bass. He is the, uh, oh, he and Tyler Bates are the one, are the two that are doing this record together. The, all of the songs, they will be featured in some way, be it as production or as instrumentation. Um, Mike Elizondo, though, is a &R at Warner Music. Uh, that's that's the, uh, my only knowledge of his musical endeavors is that he's a &R for Warner Music. He's worked with Eminem and Dr. Dre and Mastodon, and that's how they got Braun to do the vocals on this, is because he already had a relationship with the band. And then on drums, we got Gil Sharon. The guy who used to sit on the throne for the Dillinger escape plan. Now, with Braun and Gil, my ex and then also Tyler to a lesser extent because he used to work for Manson, uh, my expectations for this tune were speed and, and a lot of heaviness. We don't really get either. It is still definitely a metal tune. It's 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 a little bit beyond just a regular hard rock tune. I would still qualify this as a metal tune. 
It's more on the dark, atmospheric side though, which is very interesting coming from these musicians. At the very least coming from Braun and uh, Gil, because their bands are heavy freaking bands. They're bands that uh, just... Oh, check out the tune. Again, it is great. It is it is not awesome. It's not really going to stand above anything Mastodon has done, but it will stand above pretty much everything on the radio and a lot of other stuff that is even better than that. So it is a really, really good tune. Link to it is in the description. That is where we are ending this week's music video, guys. Thank you for watching. What did I miss in music this week? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place where you can get all the freebies and the social media links and all of the stuff. Links to the store so you can go get your very own nerdy swag are all up on generallynerdy.net. The Patreon page, we talked at the beginning of the, uh, of the episode, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. Again, just a dollar a month gets you early access and all of the instructions for the Renaissance Nerd videos. There are higher tiers where you get more stuff, but the address is patreon.com slash generallynerdy. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, guys. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, click boxes and visit websites and things. Guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>